Bug Folks, this is lesson 26. Are we getting, keep adding numbers on here. Uh, this, uh, the last one we did was the Haysborough Lighthouse, which is in Norfolk. And I'm staying in Norfolk for this one because this is a place called Morston. This is Morston Church, and it's this All Saints Church, Morston. It's about 15th century. It's a lovely spot. It's about 10 miles from my home and well worth visiting. In fact, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's got a tower there, which, which is what's unique about it is as you drive past, the, the top corner just there has been repaired in the 18th century. It had a, a lightning strike and it knocked some of the tower down. But the, the some lads, local lads, repaired it, and uh, well, I'll tell you about it. It's uh, they, they they did it with brickwork, and and it didn't match in with the rest of the stuff. And uh, I think they were, you know, the cowboys. Even in eighteenth century, they had cowboys. Not to worry about that. Anyway, let's get on with our painting. This is uh, there's the colours we've got. Uh, you know, usual colours: the raw sienna, or the ochre, ultramarine. Uh, the the ultramarine and burnt burnt umber and and the weak mix of alizarin crimson. That's the quantity I've mixed. I'll show you. There. So we're all set to go now. We've got uh, everything ready, and away we go. It's a bit a bit more fiddly than uh, than uh, yesterday, but uh, we we'll, we'll get there somehow. Right, I'm taking the colours off now because you've seen all those before, and we'll get cracking on the actual picture. The light today is coming from the right. Just put a bit of water on there, a drop of water just to flatten the dust. Mind the tower. Touch of sunshine in there. I want a pretty much of a blue sky today. I don't know, not, not a, we had some angry clouds on, on, on yesterday's picture, didn't we? So I'm, I'm going to try and be, try and be, have a nice day for a change. Right, that's, that'll do that. We'll go in now with some, some blue. This is a nice blue sky today. I'm going to leave some white bits, won't you? Because it's nice fluffy clouds on a day like this. It's a beautiful day. In fact, while I'm sitting here painting, it is a beautiful day also. We're having some gorgeous weather in May, aren't we? That makes it not lock down a little bit easier. Take it around down there. And then let's I'll take some of that weight off that. There's a lot of liquid there. I'll take some of that liquid off. So it doesn't run over everything. And then we'll have a touch of pink in that bottom there. Just to sort of mind the church. And the light's coming from the right, so the, the shadowy bits will be on the on the left. Take this up here. I say it's not too strong this pinky stuff today, so we'll, it'll, it'll sort us out. We'll we'll get there. Pick that out. Touch of colour and so this cloud here. I don't want to spoil it, making clouds and, and, and uh, a nasty day. This is one way you want to be outside painting, like I do it. I've, I've sat and painted this uh, on site and it, it is a, a really gorgeous spot. Uh, if, if anybody is interested in where it is, I mean, uh, and the local people know it as a, as a landmark, if you like. But you, you travel along the coast road from Cromer, where I live, and, uh, and then go through 
some of the villages like Sheringham and, and Weybourne and uh, on to Salt House and Clay, Clay next to sea, and then on to Blakeney, and after Blakeney we come to Morston. This is Morston Church first, and then and then we go into Morston Quay. We'll, we'll paint that one day, Morston Quay. You'd like that, so we'll, we'll have to go. But I want to leave the leave the the uh, sky now. I don't want to be too busy because there's a lot going off downstairs, isn't there, with the with the church and that. I didn't mix much because it was. Uh, I wanted a pale colour for the sky, so I mix a bit more with some with some more strength into it. I'll show you what I'm doing. This is that colour there. Look. I should touch more of that. Any size brush will do. Whatever, whatever you've got in your hand, just to mix the colour with. That should be enough. I'll just test it on my test paper here. Yeah, that'll do. Right, we'll put a, this is the undercoat if you like. This is on this uh, this church here. I've been noticing when I'm doing careful things that I, I go quiet. I can't tell things at once, you see. I, I, that where my wife, she can multitask, I can't. I can't think and talk at the same time. Anyway, let's, let's get washed in this and see where we're going. Lovely church. I like painting churches. They're, 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 they're beautiful buildings. It's, it's history and that. And that's about 15th century. I, I'm told. It's, I, I don't know for a fact, but that's they say that's about, about about 15th century. But I can't get over that repair on, in the 18th century there when it it must have been a right lightning strike there to knock that tower out. I said. And then some lads came along. We can do this job cheap for you. Just happened to have a few bricks that fell off a lorry. If they had lorries then, they would be cart. fell off the cart. And uh, we'll get repaired for you in no time. And of course, what you do, you, you, you pay your money, don't you? And that's what you finish up with. An 18th century cowboy job. Mind you, it, it's, I tell you what it has done, it, it's made the... Uh, the, the church famous because what people remember about it is the brickwork that's been repaired on the, on the, the, on the, on the top there. And it doesn't look bad to me, but uh, it's, it is unusual. That's a house down there, that's a house down there, and a house down there. That's, that's blocked the church in a bit. Let's see how we go. Leave that to dry a bit. Uh, let's see, we'll... Right, let's see what we've got. I think I'll put in this, I'll put in this, there's a bit, in the house, a pantile roof there on that little cottage. There's a couple of cottages here. Yeah. I'll put some of this green in first. Get, get, get some of this green in, this round here. And uh, for, for my green, I'm going to start with the uh, cadmium yellow, which is a nice colour. And they are not they're not distant uh, distant greens these so they, there'll be no distant landscape here because it's, it's quite close to you, all of it so don't uh, don't try and put distance into it just over we'll pop some of this, this greenery in here. You can shove it into it, see, it'll, it'll, it'll make you some like, uh, like bits, of, bits of stuff coming out the top there. Now, 
I've got a signpost here. I better be careful around that under. Forgotten that devil. Keep going, don't don't let it fiddle. I'm going quiet again, see I can't do two jobs at once. I think this brush I'm using is a bit small and it's making me fiddle. I'll see how we go anyway. Down that side, across there. And I haven't mixed much green for a simple reason. On the other tree, I'm going to vary it and have a different green. This is what gives you variety. And after, as I've told you, if you've been painting with it before, I don't have a green on my palette. I like to mix them. Side of this, this signpost. That signpost is, is uh, si uh, signing to, to Morston, all over the there, actually. That's what it says. I'm not going to try and write it on there. And some at the back there. I'll put these in probably. On the back. And I think what I'll do also is that uh, because it's the light's coming from from the right, isn't it? So we ought to have some dark down in here, didn't we? The underside of where the, the bushes are. Around this side. some of this stuff is in shade. That one's a bit further back so but any shadows there. That'll do for that. Now there's another row of bushes here leading up to the church. I'll put some in there, but I'm a bit stronger these because it's closer to us. I say I'm mixing some more green. That's what I'm doing now. Make it a bit stronger. So we go with that. There's another little cottage there, but careful there, but put that cottage in. You can just see it. But I'll, I'll, I'll leave it in. There's some bushes going down this this bank with it, what the, the church is built on. Get a bit of dark on that. On the underside. I 
A lot to do on this one. But you can do it. I know you can. You'll, you'll eat it. You will. No problem. Right, then there's a nice one here. I think I'll put that as, as like a, a, a yew tree. Which will be really juicy dark, won't it? The yew tree, it's, uh, it's, it's quite juicy. Enriching colour. Let's, let's see what we can do with this one. A rich, juicy tree. It'll stand out well against the, the church as well. Yeah, that'd, that'd be nice. Now immediately that's that's standing out from the, the the other one, isn't it? It's bleeding into that one. I don't want it to do it. I suppose I can get the air dryer out and do it, but uh, I prefer to get cracking. There we go. That'll do, it's not bad. It ain't bad at all, that. So that's, that's, a, that's a nice rich tree in front of the church. Now it'd be nice if we put, uh, let's see, put some of these, these grasses in here, that where the, the, the banks are. This is grass, that's grass, that's grass, and this is grass. So there's quite a bit of grass there. And it's high some of this. So your, your greens are nice and rich. Nothing but the best for you today, today folks. High summer. Right, let's pop some green in here. That's Nice. It'd be nice to put in. Let's have a touch of darkish, darkish tone down this side. Really down there. That's it now, let's get some of these, these other greens in here. Get one just here. Nice silvery green. Mind the pole. I thought I was just getting really white, white. I'm, I'm getting quite involved here. So now I should just down this edge a bit. Do lift that out. Now this, this is another wad of grass here.
that's coming from around the corner there like a grass verge in front of the church there. and of course in this foreground this is grass as well so we're, we're, we're having our share of grass today folks The road comes down here because the road goes up there to uh, what's the place called? Anyway, it goes down and then the road comes around this corner, we're hidden by this bank, which goes into into most of the village itself. I think there's only about uh, I think it's uh, are there eighty or eight hundred live there, and it's uh, it's probably eighty. They're not massive places, these you know. Let's strengthen this front end a bit because. to bring this, this front hedge forward, which I want it to do. A bit more of that stuff in there. We should touch more stronger colour then in that to get a better a better colour down here. It's, it's not, they're not long these, they're, they're just sort of grazing areas, so, so they're, they're not perfect by any means. So that'll have a sort of a dark just there. Dark around this edge. Right, then I've got this bush to do here, haven't I? This, uh, this big, big bush. Let's get that big bush in there, we'll, then we'll finish with the greens a bit. Put a nice big bush in here. Nice and rich. Let's have a look at that. I'm just pushing this in with the, with the, with the brush. I'm not painting it, I'm, I'm pushing it, if you like. Because it's, it's close to us and it's... Just minding that roof because I've got to paint it yet. over here. Some darks in the bottom here. The light's from the right, isn't it? So you're going to get these shapes on the bush. Don't put too much detail in because I don't want to detract from the actual church, which is the is our main feature. Right, I think that that'll do for the greens just now. Done. Right, I've still there are these little cottages now. I want to get these out of the way. These in, it's, they're only really tiny, but uh, they're worth doing. Now these are the the, the I'm going to leave them leave them white the cottages, but the the roof are are pantile, so that'll be the burnt sienna. 
That's that's a lovely colour. Burnt sienna. A nice colour for these cottages and stuff like that. It's got got it and it's a complementary colour of the greens. Mind the signpost. There's a chimney. Don't forget the chimney. Off it comes. One just here. Another one back here. Further around the lane. I'll let them dry a bit and do this one just here. I said these are these are just a backdrop, they're not they're not important. Our church is the most important thing, isn't it? Don't forget the chimney pot. I wonder, they're not new these cottages, they're not wimpies, you know, so I've put a little bit of age in them to, to sort of calm them down a bit. Make them look a bit uh, weather beaten. If you're doing too pretty to uh, it looks chocolate boxy. So they they they've calmed up down now. They they they're into the distance. That's we've got that out of the way. That's those done. Uh, I said the, the, now there's a wall here, which is which is flint, a flint wall. And the flint is is not easy to do, but it's like a. Let's see what colour shall we do? It's it's, it's a. It's like a grey colour, with, with bits of brown in, bits of all sorts in. So I don't want, I don't want to get bogged down on this. So I'm just going to do some a, a wash of a pale wash of grey. Perhaps a bit more brown in than that. Make it more grey. While it's still wet, we can drop in some uh, some some browns and stuff like that, just to depict the bits of flint that it's made of. This side as well. So before it dries, we'll we'll drop in some bits of bits of brown stuff like that. This is the the dark brown we used in the skies, and just it's got like measles bits of flint. It's difficult to paint every piece, but you've got to suggest it. And it's, it's softening, because it's still wet, it's softening into the, into the actual colour. So it's not standing out so, so strong, which is nice. I oh, have a touch of black in there, like like a dark colour. Anyway, if you've got a black, a touch of black will do. But uh, if you you can mix the 
the, the two sky colours, the ultramarine and burnt umber together, that, that gets it dark enough if you wanted that colour. But some little bits of black in here as well does. Sets it off. That'll do. I'm getting bogged down there. I don't do that. I don't do bogged down. Right, what we can do now is I can put in this, this road. And I'm going to paint this road with the with the, the lovely sunshine colour, what we had in the sky. That's the raw sienna. Let's just have a, a nice colour for this road. Around that corner there. Have to get a smaller brush here to get around that corner. Just a second. Smaller, smaller brush to the rescue. From around that corner. You know what I've been I've been racking my brain to where that road goes to up there and I know where it is, but I can't I can't bring it to mind. This is this is what you get when you get older. Your marbles go. Well I seem to anyway. Mine do. <laughs> and just see a touch of the road there, that's all. And I'll put some a touch of colour into this foreground of this road just to which way it's coming from. Around that corner. This one comes down here. Touch it dark into that. Right at the front, that'll bring it towards us, just here. Right, we're getting there. This this little bit behind the gate, that's, that's like a, a, a path thing, just here. So I better put that in. It's not a gate, it's like a, there's like, a, like poles that will just stick you up, like a, a, a like a funny walkthrough thing. I'll show you in a minute. Right, these little things, I'll, I'll stick these things in, I'll use my rigger on it. This one's dropped on the floor here, one thing. Use this little brush here to, just to put some poles in. They sort of like, just here. just here and here and here and then it goes across there somehow like this then goes back on itself around there well, this is last time I was there it was like this they might have pushed posh gears on it now I don't know but that's roughly what it what it was like it was like you sort of walk through it and, and and, uh, and I had to twiddle through it. How they got the bride in through there, I don't know. Unless there's another gap round the back. But you know what they like, these brides. They like the, everything right. Right, let's have a look at this. We, we, we're nearly there now with that. We can have a concentrate on the church. Now is, let's get some of this, uh, this church and windows in and stuff like that so we need to be careful on this because it's a bit tricky let's see if i've got a flat brush which will, which will help me that'll do just to give me some windows i don't know if that'll be strong enough for the windows probably a bit strong but it's, it's this is that test paper. I keep banging on about this test paper. It's, it's important that, that you use that because it'll, it'll sort you out. It'll, it'll keep you right on your pictures. Right. 
church. Let's have a look at some windows first. Now there's some little windows. I could start, I'll start at the right hand side and work my way across because I'm right handed. We'll try that. So we'll start here. This is little chisel brush. I'll try and put these little windows in here. Be careful, leave them uh, bits of stone that's in between the windows. We need to do that. And then in, in the top there, there's, there's some little, little windows. So we better pop them in as well. I think there's three circular ones or something like that. I don't know exactly what it is, but this. Something like that. And then this, there's a dark under there like that. As soon as you start putting little bits in like this, it takes on a better look, doesn't it, the church? There's a dark under there. Right, let's have a look at this. And then there's a go around to this other window here. I'll try it with a chisel brush. This is a two, two, one. And of course you'll see more of that window than the other one because you're looking at it at an angle and the buttress and all that sort of thing sticks out and you can only see part of that window. So there'll be a, a twiddly bit on the top here. And then this, of course, is this this door down here. And what I'm also going to do, I'm going to put some darks in these while they're still wet. I can just to it'll be dark in that top there. That side, a bit of dark in there, dark in this one here. They're so near these churches, aren't they? Mind you, they look nice. A touch of dark in there. There's another window there, let's put that one in. You just see part of it there. There'll be a curvy bit at the top. You'll enjoy this, doing this bit. It's fiddly, but you'll be right proud of it when you're done. When you shoot your neighbours, by job. I say, I wish I'd have painted that. Right, we're coming on 
a touch of a touch of dark in the top of that one there. We come down. Touch in the bottom. One here. It's a bit fiddly these folks. But a chisel brush is, is so useful to you if you if you haven't got one. Then they're, they're not expensive are they I don't think. It's a long time since I bought one. That top bit. There's some uh, like weird windows in the like little, these little holes here, and a curve around there. Dark in the top of that. And some like little little windows up here as well. Only tiny ones these. One here as well. There's a bit of a tower here. One up here. There's some more windows here. God, blimey, there's a few windows in this place. Another one here. I think this is quite a bean painting these. That's it. Twiddle down there a bit. There's a little window here. Blimey. Glad I'm not the window cleaner. And then this one, the, the, the door there, the big door, that's where the bride goes in, I'm sure. Oh, she gets there, I don't know. Things always go wrong. You know, like, I can remember years ago, my flower stalk was too long in me, in me, in me, but no, I couldn't get it right. I'd had this new suit and the trousers were too long and they took it back and shortened the legs a bit. And of course, I had such confidence in them, I didn't try them on until I got to, got to get ready for the church. They were a bit too short, they were. They'd gone mad. So any self-respecting bloke what we did. Under the top button, let the trousers drop down a bit. Nobody ever knew. In fact, I don't think I've mentioned that to anybody. A nice dark in there. Uh, 
that's it. Nothing. This, this, I think what I'll do now, I've, 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 had, I've had enough windows for a bit. What I'll do, I love I've got that brickwork at the top. I'm, I'm going to do it as it is. Why they did it like this, I'll never know. But I'm, and, and if, if you drive up there sometime, I mean, anyway, people who live in Norfolk or are having luck, uh, you, you'll see where the, the the brickwork is is so evident. It is. It's. I mean, if it had been me and my church, I, I'd have, I said, let, let, let's let's get a, a proper builder in, you know. And let's, let's get it sorted out. But it's, it's famous now, so they don't touch it. So the, the, this is this bit here. Imagine. It's brickwork. What a repair. I won't debate them, I'll tell you. I'd go to the ombudsman or somebody. He'll sort him out. Of course, it goes round this corner as well. So don't forget the angle on that. The brickwork will angle as well, don't it? Believe me, folks, that's how it is. I tell no lies. I don't speak with forked tongue or anything like that. See if we can. I bet these lads in the 18th century thought, oh, we've just pulled this here place down. We've got loads of bricks left. We'll, we'll, we'll do this job here and use these bricks. I can just imagine them. They'll be on watchdog today, I tell you. They won't get away with it. Anyway, it's famous. Go and have a look. And not only that, it's a beautiful church as well. In fact, Norfolk is full of beautiful churches. In fact, I think, it, I think it's Norwich. There's the, the Norwich, there's, there's only one place in Russia that's got more churches than Norwich. That's how, how, how good it is. So if you're in, in the area, in fact, when you're driving through Norfolk, you just do got to look round. Look, look, wherever you are, there'll be a view, there'll be a church. In, in, the, in, in the distance, in the landscape. That's what I like about it, it's lovely. It, it is lovely. And there's so many beautiful churches. Right, I want to, uh, well, put some people in, didn't we? What I took what to do with this sign here. I ought to put in, uh, put, put some hieroglyphics on it. I'm still at the Sphinx and the Egyptians, hieroglyphics. I've told you, one or two hieroglyphics on it, just as though we can show where it's going. I can't put most in, I can't, I can't make it work, this. But we'll, we'll, we'll probably suggest it.
buying any money with their vote. If you look close, you can read that, it says Marston. Oh, you can see it. Talk about value. Right, now then, uh, figures. Let's have some one or two figures. I think we've got time to do one or two. Uh, let's see. We'll have... Uh, Oh, Fred and Mabel, they must come into it. Fred's got his, his jumper on, his red jumper. Now, do I put him in the churchyard or do I put him walking up this path here? No. I'll put him just here. Now, he'll be about the height of that wall there. He, he, he just, well, height, that'll be about mid, midway down his midriff there. You can get a walk through there, you see. And of course, these people have got to get through these gate with these gaps, haven't they? So when you do any figures, always think in terms of that size. So that about it, it'll be all right on, on here. Let's, let's see what he's doing. There he is, walking along. Bring some jeans on. As he walks along the, the road. There he is. Dark head lad. You look like his trousers are falling down there. That's better. And of course, he's with, he's with Mabel, his girlfriend at the time. Let's put Mabel in. She's got a lovely, lovely... Cadmium yellow top. Too close together. You do when you're courting, don't you? She's there. Very close there. She's a redhead, she is. No hair. Yeah. She's a redhead. No, she, she's a red-haired woman. So she's, and she's, she's so much in love with Fred. Her head inclines towards Fred. Oh, I like that. Can't be the touch of romance. Because she's got these matching jeans on. They got them in the sale, they did. She stood there with him. Oh, Fred. There she is. So that, that gives you some kind of scale on, on figures. Uh, we'll, we'll put some, uh, I'll put one, oh, I'll put one, I'll put a, a, one coming down the road here as well. She's got a maroon, maroon top on, just here. So a similar size. in his arm, or her arm, whichever you like. I'll put on some brown trousers on for a change. Here he comes down here. I hope we're having a go at figures, by the way. I mean, a lot of people, and, and, and I've done a lot of lessons and things like that. And it's amazing how many people say, oh, I'm not putting figures in mine. I'll spoil the picture. But if you don't live dangerously, you, you're never going to go forward, are you? He's a bit wobbly, this bloke. I think he's had a few. He's all right. I'll, 
I'll put somebody with him. What about if we put a, a lady with a, a white dress on? That'd be nice. I can't be the white dress. She's just here. Long dress. Hold his hand. She's got tanned legs. Here's her legs. It's a bit miserable that wide. She used, should use some dazz on it or something to get it whiter than that. I'll give it another coat. Might, might. Oh, that's made it worse. I'll leave it a bit and see where I go. Let's put another one in somewhere. Uh, I'll have one up here near the, near the church door. How's that? Uh, we could put the vicar in, I suppose. No, we better not. This bloke is stood here. Uh, don't forget, it'll be, it'll be about that tall, he will. So he's stood here. He's waiting for him to open. There he is. That's five. That that to do. I, I say I don't like even numbers, so there's five of them there. That's what I do. And I think, well, oh, I tell you what, I've missed as well. There's some windows here. We haven't put them windows in. Glad you reminded me. Right, now uh, what I want to do is, is dry it a little bit and the, then I want to put some shadows in. We need shadows in this, this picture. Real shadows. Let's, let's see what we've got. If that colours all right for me. A bit more water in there. So this end is in, is in shade here. That's in shade. This one's in shade here. There'll be a shadow under under the eaves on this one, just here. And under this one here. And that one there. This, uh, this one here, this end, will be in shade because it has a side building here. This one is in shade. in shade here and 
And of course there'll be a shadow on the underside of that that roof there. There'll be a shadow on the roof of that distant building and one on the chimney pot. Uh, that tower, I want to put a shadow on that with some shadow on, on that one, the building is there. Shadow down the side of this pillar here. Of course it'll be a shadow across here as well, won't it? I so saw this tower here is in shade at this side. Including the brickwork. Well, the main thing is about this, this Clore I've told you about the ultramarine and burn number, it allows you to see the, the, the brickwork underneath the shadow. That's important so you don't lose it. That is really important. We're going to get some shadow on the, the brush there, it's a bit smaller. On this buttress here, that will be in shade. Just there. And these buttresses here will be in shade as well. This one. It's a longer painting than I thought this one. It's quite uh, there's quite a lot of detail in it. But we'll get there. We don't mess about. There's another buttress here, look. That's got to be done. Put us there. That's a bit of touch on there, there's one under under that thing there. Well that's that's showing there where the overhang is. And of course the, what's what's happening is the as as the sun's coming from here, it'll cast a shadow across that window there, won't it? And one across this one here. I don't, I don't like these, these uh, roofs that colour, so I'm, I'm going to darken those two roofs to give me a bit more impact. This is using the same, same colour, you know, the, the ultramarine of the burnt tumber. I'm, I'm, I'm mixing the, the colour slightly stronger to get a, a, a grey colour, if you like, a slate grey. So I'm just testing on this piece of paper here to get me a grey. That should be all right. Let's slip these roofs in these. Nice steady hand on this. That's better, taking the heat out of that. And this one here. Keep that going. Now 
Nice dark under there. Nice dark under that one as well, just there. There's a dark under that thing across there as well. And across there. I think, uh, right, I do want to put some shadows in these, some shadows by down here, like that, on these bushes. Bigger brush. Not a fiddle brush, a bigger brush. Some shadows across here. But just get a touch of shadow of these trees across here, like this. Stage, I'm, I'm looking for things to do and that's the time to stop folks you know that I just want to put a shadow on that <laughs> that chimney pot there it's, it's not it's not dark enough there's one there and one on this chimney pot here and then stop this is uh, all Saints Church in Morston, in Norfolk. A lovely spot. I've enjoyed painting it. It's a bit tricky in places and twiddly bits, but uh, but we got there, didn't we? And I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, give us a like or a subscribe, and we'll let you know what's happening next time. But until next time, it's goodbye. Goodbye, folks. <laughs>